In a time of social distancing, this group said they did what they had to do to help others. But staying distant wasn't an option and often didn't work. Everyone else was spooked out and you know, no one was coming out. And these people, again, were not even able to get a meal for a few days. Night after night, during the holiest time in the Muslim calendar, Ramadan, volunteers from Muslims Giving Back came to Manhattan's Herald Square. And they came from all five boroughs, feeding those in need and the homeless. This is faith through action. It began with dozens, grew to about 100, to now nearly 300 meals being handed out daily. We run out of food, and there's still a line that's wrapped around the block. We're like, wow, this is actually like really, really serious. Mohammed Widi of Muslims Giving Back says every volunteer has their own day job. But when New York City went on pause, many found a moment to think of others during the most charitable time of their Islamic faith. What's humbling is the fact of the immense uh, reward that we hope from the uh, creator and to be able to really just show people what really uh, Islam is about. Helping the less fortunate is not new for the organization. The not-for-profit was created seven years ago. As the demands for their services grew, so did they. They've also created a shelter for victims of domestic violence and also Project Transform, an initiative providing at times a permanent roof over the heads of struggling families or helping them to furnish their homes. All of it done through donations. Well, one big family. You know, it doesn't matter if you're Muslim or not Muslim. In fact, the majority of people that we do help out are not even Muslim. If you're interested in donating to Muslims Giving Back, visit Pix11.com for a link. I'm Narmeen Chowdhury, Pix11 News.